I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years, but no one stumped me more than the princess. If I see something and I like it, I, I just get it. I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next four weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. Do I think you're gonna accomplish your goal? No. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver, and I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. I've always been told live within your means, and I've never done that. No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Princess Lasha. My name's Lasha, I'm 30 years old, and I'm a travel agent. I'll probably go shopping for clothes every other week. I love to travel. I've been to Las Vegas a couple times. I hit the shops like crazy. <laughs> Bags, dresses, skirts, tops, everything. The shopping was probably about five or six thousand. Lasha doesn't budget anything. If she wants something, she buys it. I guess most of my money I spend going out. Going out for dinner, going out for drinks. Costs me money every time I leave my house. <laughs> She usually goes out five, six times a week. She's too much of a party girl right now. And people like to party with me. <laughs> yep, people definitely like to party with you. When Lasha has money to spend, she's got 25 best friends. She can go to the bar and spend 400 bucks in a night, no problem. Quite often, she's not able to drive home, so she'll take a cab home. And then she gets up in the morning, and of course, she's got to go to work, but she doesn't have a car, so she'll grab a cab. Hey, you go, sir. Okay, thank you. And take it to the bar and pick up her car and go to work. That adds up. I get a lot of collection calls all the time, so I just don't answer the phone. I don't pay my credit card bills, my taxes. It's not high on my list of priorities. My dad added himself onto one of my credit card accounts, and now it's gone to collections. Um, they've, uh, they've been calling my dad. They could mess up my credit rating for this. He's not happy about that. So far, Lash has been living on Easy Street. I live in my grandparents' house. I'm supposed to pay rent, but I, I don't normally. I pay the taxes, I pay the hydro, I pay the cable, uh, the water. Uh, I pay all the bills. This house costs more than $10,000 a year to run. I'm 30 years old and they're paying for me to live. <laughs> Even with her parents paying her way, Lash is struggling to stay afloat. She usually always spends more than she makes. I live in overdraft. You know, the paycheck kind of puts it above zero and then it's gone before the next paycheck comes. Well, I don't know how to live any other way. <laughs> but the paychecks are getting smaller. I just recently took a pay cut. So um, I'm down to uh, $30,500 a year. It scares me because I was having trouble making ends meet before. Now I don't even have that. There's really nowhere to go with my job. I don't like to talk about money. It makes me kind of uncomfortable. When you work yourself into the debt she's in, it's very hard to come out of it. She wouldn't listen to us, so hopefully she'll listen to Gail. No pressure, huh? Hi, Gail Voss Oxlade. Lasha, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So your life isn't really working for you right now. Not really, no. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay. Why do you think you're here? I have more debt than I know what to do with. What is it you expect your life to be like? I didn't expect this. No? No. How is it different than what you expected? Well, I, I don't actually have anything. I live in my grandparents' house. <laughs> they were going to listen to a few people in your life, but let's start with, by listening to what your mom has to say, okay? I, I definitely feel that Lasha's taken it for granted. And yeah, I would think that she's, I, you might even say the word that she is using us. We had said to her, like, if you pay $200 a month for rent, and then can you pay $250 a month towards paying off your credit card? And that, you know, she's, oh yeah, I can do that, I can do that. She made two payments to us on her credit card. That's only $450 a month. That's not a lot of money. So why aren't you doing it? I don't have it. That's not true. Let's be honest. Yeah. You would rather spend it somewhere else. Yeah, I spend it elsewhere. You are taking advantage of the situation you're in because you know they won't throw you out of that house. Let's listen to your dad. I am disappointed if she does not tell me the truth. She's much, much smarter than what she's doing right now. She's doing real silly things. She will uh, say, yes, daddy. I'll try, daddy. Uh, I'll do it. And, and it frustrates the hell out of me because I know she's not going to do it. She says what she thinks I want to hear. But what I want to hear from her is the truth. Do you feel like the people in your life are being hard on you? 
Well, I deserve it. I know that. Okay, but just listening to what your brother has to say. This is the guy that's hardest on you. I love my sister. She's a great person. She's got a heart of gold. She just got really bad spending habits. She has it a lot better than the average person, and she doesn't know it. She's very lost. I don't think she knows what she really wants in life. She's just trying to live to get by. You're living in a house you don't really want to live in. You're in a job in an industry that's in decline. This isn't the life you wanted. I don't, I don't know what else I could do. <laughs> You're stuck. Who's going to pull you out of this? I guess I have to. I'm going to push you to do some really hard things. Okay. We're going to show your dad your numbers. Yeah, brace yourself. Are you ready for this? Nope, but let's go for it. <laughs> okay. Going to come clean with dad. You have no savings, which is how you got into this problem to begin with, and you're putting sweet diddly squat towards your debt repayment, and you have a significant amount of debt. Yeah, I know. So you're spending 36% of your income, or $800, just over $800 a month, on your needs. You're spending an additional 66% of your income, or $1,500, on your wants. Because if Lasha wants to go shopping, Lasha goes shopping. And if Lasha wants to go to a restaurant, Lasha goes to a restaurant. If Lasha wants to go on a trip, Lasha goes on a trip. Yeah. <laughs> kind of how it goes. <laughs> Not so much anymore. Okay. Okay, let's look at the debt. Daddy, don't yeah. faint, okay? Um, $31,000, Lasha. I had no idea she was even close to that. Mm -hmm. You should be scared, because I wouldn't be. Some of your creditors have actually cut you off and sent you to collections. Yeah. You're ruining your credit history. You're ruining your ability to deal with your debt efficiently. Let's talk a little bit about the money in general, okay? You've been earning about $2,286 a month, which works out to about $30,500 a year. You would have to earn $51,000 a year to spend what you've been spending. Okay. <laughs> you'd have to earn $70,000 a year to live the way you're living and get your debt paid off. That's, that's more than that's double. That's more than double. I think I need to get a raise. <laughs> if in fact you were paying your own way, you'd be going into debt to the tune of $1,300 every month or over $15,000 a year. So, now I ask the question. Are you prepared to do whatever it takes to stop this? Yeah, okay. I have to. <laughs> Good, I'm glad to hear you say that. I think this is a big opportunity to move forward. You know, kind of give myself a kick where I need one. And you, sir, are going to keep your hand out of your pocket. You're absolutely and right. And your nose out of our business. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to stay out of it. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to my satisfaction. I'll give you up to $5,000. You don't do the challenges. You don't get the money. You don't have the right attitude. You don't get the money. OK, this is about taking control of your money in your life. So no bitching and no whining. So over the next few weeks, we're going to get you living where you want to live. We're going to get you working at what you want to work at. Okay. And we're going to get you having a good time that's not self-destructive. Okay. Coming up, that is not a balanced budget. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Lush is a 30-year-old travel agent who's going nowhere fast. I just recently took a pay cut. She's too much of a party girl right now. I'm 30 years old and they're paying for me to live. <laughs> She's very lost. We're stuck. I don't know what else I could do. <laughs> and now her family and friends have come together to cut her off. If she doesn't take care of those spending habits, she'll never get out of debt. Well, she, yeah, she needs to be cut off. If she completes all my challenges and fixes her attitude, I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. Did you bring me your plastic? Yes, I did. Okay, hand it over. You know you're going on a cash diet? Yeah. Wonder how much you're gonna get? Probably not enough. <laughs> $100! Till when? It'll last you a week. You know, I would spend that in a night, the $100, sometimes more. This is your get real challenge. And what you're going to do this week is you're going to decide whether or not you're staying where you currently live or whether you want to go off and find yourself your own place. Okay. This is where you step up and take control of your life because, baby girl, you are on your own.
I told Gail I would do anything she asks, and I mean it. I'm going to give this 100%. The Get Real Challenge is designed to snap Lasha into reality. She needs to make active choices if she wants to improve her lifestyle. And that means questioning everything, starting with her living arrangements. I came to live in my grandparents' house because they were quite ill, so I needed to come take care of them. I've just continued living here. I've been here for about two and a half years now. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of living here rent-free. I don't think I could do that anywhere else, right? I'd like to get my own place. Maybe something not in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> she had a look at her dream apartment. I like this place. Got the other main bedroom upstairs. I could definitely see myself in this place. So what's the rent? It's 1200 a month. Okay, 1200 But before she moves anywhere, Lasha needs to take a hard look at her numbers to see if she can even afford it. And her brother's decided to lend a loving hand. Okay, $592.83. How do you rack up a, a highway bill this expensive? Oh, doing the debt repayment plan was horrible. Like, is there a way you can kind of pay some debts off and like, you know, leave the other ones to lie? Is that okay? Okay, well, minimum payment can't be zero. I think she really wants to get out of debt, but like I said, I don't know if she's ready. Like, I don't know what to say to help. I've never seen this much debt in front of my face before. It's a mess. <laughs> I need to learn how to do this for myself. So what's the magical number now, Lasha? To get out of debt in three years, I will have to make a monthly payment of $1,053.10. Okay. That's over half of what I take home. Things aren't looking so good for the new apartment. It's kind of a shock. It sort of makes it real, and it's never been real before. Lasha's done a good job making a plan for her debt, but her budgeting skills are still in need of some work. Time to check in. You want to stay in the house? I'm going to stay in the house. You got a lease from your dad? I did, yeah. Money that I could spend on rent, now I can put towards paying off my debt. So your want's coming at 24.3%. Okay. So that sounds good, right? That's, that's good. I'm doing better. Okay. What are your savings coming at? Zero. Again. That is not a balanced budget. Do you realize that your transportation costs are eating up 38% of your income? Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't work in the city, so... When you have an expense that's too big for your income, what are your two options? Get a better income. Or? Get rid of the expense. You actually have the answers. So which one are you gonna do? Oh, I, I need to get a bigger income. Okay. I guess my biggest fear is that things are just gonna stay the same that they are. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like better things for my life. One of the things that you're going to have to learn is how to set a goal. Okay. You're going to take the bull by the horns this week because your goal setting challenge means I'm sending you to a career counselor so that you can get on with having a life. Oh, that's good. Coming up. Have you ever done any manual labor before? It looks like I've done manual labor before. <laughs> oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Lasha's life hasn't turned out the way she wanted. Other people my age are, you know, they're married, they've got houses, kids, you know, good careers, and I don't have any of that. I, I feel like, like a failure. <laughs> she works in an industry in decline. I just recently took a pay cut. There's really nowhere to go with my job. So for her set goals challenge, I'm sending her to a career counselor to figure out how to turn things around. I just don't know what else to do. She needs to be deeply committed to change. I mean, she's in a, a tough spot, right? She's got a very specific educational background. There's sort of in managing career, there's three things. There's what am I good at? Mm -hmm. uh, my talents, uh, what are my passions? She's got to start exploring areas. Um, I like to bake. Some people allow you to do some job shadowing. We actually could go in for a morning and experience what it's like to be in that environment. Maybe you could go again, spend a morning mm -hmm. at a bakery, let's say. I think that would be really interesting. Move forward and explore all these things. And in, in her area, it might be baking or food services or entertainment or it, it, things related to that. And that can expose her to completely big, uh, opening up her world, essentially. I arranged for Lasha to job shadow. 
But this party girl struggled with her first task, showing up at 5 a.m. Very, very important to be punctual in a bakery. Um, we have to start as early as 2 a.m. to make sure that we have all of our bread out on time. If our bakers don't arrive on time, bread doesn't get sold on time. Oh, it's so early. Hi, Emily. Yes, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So the big thing with baking, speed is of the essence. All right, keep going, try to get a little faster, a little faster. So right now we're going on about 10 minutes. <laughs> you want to have this in the bowl in about two and a half to three. For speed, that's definitely a problem. Um, that being said, I mean, it was her first day. I don't think anyone's going to come in here and be a rock star. Going under there. And it looks like we don't have enough flour because this is really, really wet. So feel that there. So we're going to have to throw that stuff out, which is unfortunate. I thought I followed the numbers all right, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's 20 loads of bread that they're going to have to throw out. You know, she tried hard. She seems to have a bit of a passion for it. You can't teach that. Ah, they're so cute. Is this something that you could see yourself doing? Um, I think I might have trouble with the hours. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of like a complete 180 of what my life is right now, so. Maybe that's what I need. So while Lasha might not have a future in food, completing this challenge was her first step in considering other career options. And now it's time to check in to see if she's still feeling stuck. So what did you learn from the challenge that you had this week? I learned that I think I can actually do this. I'd like to be like a sales rep on the road, that kind of thing where you get to meet a lot of people. Why now? Why not before? I think I needed a kick in the ass. And do you feel like you are now motivated to make things different? Yeah, things like um, to help with the rent, I found people to rent one room in my house and then my basement. So that's going to cover the rent. So that's, you know. So that leaves you rent free? Yes. Phenomenal. I've managed to reduce my budget deficit by about $1,100. I've been staying home a lot since I've been here. That's part of one of my goals is to go out less. Okay, but you know what? It's really important that you still keep some fun in your life. Want to hear what your next challenge is? This is your attitude adjustment challenge. Okay. And this is about that fun I just mentioned. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to send you off to try new things. I want you to do a cost comparison between what you would normally spend on an evening out okay. and any one of these activities that you think you like. Sound like a plan? It sounds like fun. <laughs> Great. Lasha's usual social activity was to hit the bar with her friends. You know, I would spend that in a night, $100. I kind of thrive on, like, interaction. Um, without it, I just, yeah, I just get so bored without other people around. So I'm sending her off to try something that's just as social, but not as hard on her wallet. Little help, please. <laughs> Most of the girls in our league have never skated before. Yes. have a derby name. No. What about Lasha Smasha? Lasha Smasha, sure. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna jam now. So the jammer position um, is the point scorer. So what happens is um, the whistle's gonna blow and then the pack is gonna start moving. The second whistle will blow and that's your start whistle. You're gonna race and uh, try and get through the pack, okay? And then any pass to do that after that is points. Probably one of the few sports that I've joined that I've now gained an entire new family from it. And then there's girls that have never really played sports or organized sports before that are now getting out of their comfort zone and coming into roller derby. Lasha did really good for a first time skater. I was extremely impressed with her. She had a great attitude and she did it with a smile. I definitely feel like I need a change in my life. Like to learn to skate, I can do for about $50 a month. I can go and play volleyball for less than $20. I can go and rock climb for like $30. Like, you know, that's not even a night out. I need to get me some skates. <laughs> Coming up, my final verdict. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. When I first met Princess Lasha, her spending was sending her into a spiral of bad habits. She usually goes out five, six times a week. Okay, let's look at the debt. $31,000, Lasha. Mm -hmm. You should be scared. But she made a vow to get her head on straight and make a change. Doing this massive change is really hard. I'm basically changing everything about my life. I'm trying to change my job, I'm trying to change my social life, I'm trying to change my home life, my career, my attitude towards money. I'm doing a complete overhaul. Big changes, big, big changes. 
And before I make my final decision, I wanted to work with her parents to see what they thought about her progress. Have you seen a change in Lasha over the last four weeks? Yes. Yeah, we have. <laughs> you know what the biggest changes that I have seen? She had this sense of being stuck. And I don't think she feels that way anymore. I think she feels like she has some momentum now and she's moving in a direction. She set some goals now, so uh, that's, that's great. That's something that she never did before. Yeah. So happy. Yeah, okay, let's see what she says. So this was an exciting week. I think Roller Derby's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she was all excited. Yeah, mom, it was really good. And I want to go back and I want to learn how to roller skate. So I was really happy for her. For the cost of about four drinks and an appetizer, yeah. I could play roller derby for a month. <laughs> a whole month? <laughs> See all the things you learned? <laughs> I did. I didn't even know you could do any of this stuff. There you go. But your whole life feels better. It does. Like, I have options now. Yes. I kind of sort of have a plan on what I'm going to do. Right. Um, rather than just not doing anything. <laughs> You've covered the money problems. I'm going to get another job. Yes. I'm going to get a second job, so that's going to bring extra money in. Like, it's going to get done. This whole thing was such a great opportunity, and, like, not everybody gets, you know, gets this chance. Well, and so not everybody takes it when they get it. So congrats to you for doing that. Are you a happy girl? I, I'm a lot happier than I was. I'm glad to hear that. You know what? I'm going to make you even happier. I have for you today a check. I get the whole thing. <laughs> I want to hug you. Okay. I've got options now. Um, you know, things are definitely, definitely looking up. In a lot of ways, yeah, I feel like a new person. I can tell, I can tell she loves to go. Shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.